nationally ranked Newberry visited Mossy Creek in the final week of September. Carson Newman's focus wasn't on how good Newberry might be. The Eagles wanted to know how good they could be. Sees the ball hanging in the wind. He'll take it at his six. Trying to work back up the middle of the field and gets a seam. Reggie Hubbard into the open field. Carson Newman could have the first big play. Hubbard breaks away the opening kickoff. Touchdown, Eagles. Reggie Hubbard, 94 yards, and Carson Newman off and running. The Eagles took the momentum from Hubbard's kickoff return and used it to bounce Newberry 49-14. The Eagles made quick work of Mars Hill after the Newberry win. Carson Newman had lost at Mars Hill in 2005, so the Eagles were well aware of how tough the road trip could be. After falling behind quickly, 7-0, good, and the Eagles went back to what they do best, running the football. Carson Newman scored 42 of the next 49 points, and Alex Good had 170 yards on the ground in the first half as the Eagles picked up another convincing win. Good's effort on the ground earned him Sack Player of the Week honors for the second time in the season. Sunder center, down the line, play action. Rouse looking, fires it down the middle of the field. Wide open, James Banks walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Carson Newman's only blemish in 2007 was a homecoming loss to Catawba. The game will always be remembered as one CN let slip away. The Eagles trailed for all of 31 seconds in the 55-49 loss, but even in defeat, Carson Newman put up more than its share of highlights. Long touchdown runs defined the Eagles' blowout win at Lenore Ryan. The Eagles had five runs of 30 yards or more for touchdowns, moving out to a 39-0 lead at the half and never looking back. Eagles. Belk sets his line, gives it inside quickly. Nope, fake the handoff, turned it upfield and scored. Doug Belk has the... Brevard College, the SAC's newest member, was rudely welcomed to Bergtar Stadium the following week as it made its first visit to Mossy Creek. The Eagle defense posted a first half shutout for a second consecutive week as CN rolled 52-13. A road trip to face a ranked Wingate team was the only roadblock between the Eagles and Tusculum for the SAC title. The first half was again a highlight reel for the Orange and Blue. Carson Newman jumped out 31-6 to 6 
and cruise to their ninth win of the year, 58-27. The Eagles would string together four dominant wins to close the season. CN outscored its opponents 132-9 in the first half of its final four wins. The Eagles rolled back to the creek for a showdown with in-state foe Tusculum. The winner would own the South Atlantic Conference title. Sometimes a big win isn't enough. While the Eagles' win was impressive, its first quarter celebration will never be forgotten. The celebration seemed to make the Eagles invincible. The Eagles kicked off from the seven-yard line after their celebration. They forced a fumble, recovered, and played in another gear for 60 minutes. Even when plays didn't count, they worked as the Eagles exploded to a 42-3 lead. Tusculum was able to get a touchdown in the third quarter of the 63-24 Eagle win. Important because it was the first time since 2003 the Pioneers had done so against Carson Newman. The Eagle seniors had outscored Tusculum to that point, 146-9. How good were the Eagles on offense in 07? CN led the nation in scoring offense, rushing offense, and pass efficiency heading into the season's final week. As Carson Newman became the first team in South Atlantic Conference history to score 49 points in every conference game. Individual awards poured in for the Eagles as the season came to an end. Senior Eric Rice was named South Atlantic Conference Defensive Player of the Year after leading the Eagles with five sacks. Alex Good earned Co-Player of the Year honors on offense, directing the nation's top offense to over 500 points. And quarterback Ravel Coffey was named Defensive Freshman of the Year in the conference after finishing the season with three interceptions. Couple Carson Newman's 2007 success with the expectations that surround one of college football's top programs, and the result is easy. 2008 is already the most anticipated football season in the proud history of football at Carson Newman. <laughs>